Tonight we're celebrating the lives of two great men, Lee Bailey and Clarence Savon, here at the Black Business Association. Salute to Black Music, and you're watching EUR Well. I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. Let me handle my business. Damn. I came out to support my good friend, uh, Skip, and to see some of my old friends, and uh, just, you know, Celebrate, have a good time, and um, make sure that some of my friends come out and support the organization as well. Lee Bailey, you looking sharp tonight, brother. How you doing? Well, look who's talking. Takes one to know one, <laughs> Mr. J. Styles. Congrats on your honoree tonight, my man, for special lifetime achievement. How does it feel to be, you know, recognized amongst your peers like this? Well, you know, it, it, I, I was thinking, uh, it, it, I, I'm really freaked out because this is like a moment for me to be recognized in the same breath, the same sentence as uh, industry legend like Mr. Clarence Avant. I mean, like he's like a serious power broker. And for me to be in that same rarefied air and space, it's mind blowing, but I'll take it. Representing not only Lee Bailey, but you're also representing, you know, the fam of You Are Well. Absolutely. I mean, what, what, what does it feel? How does it feel? Well, Jay, this is a proud moment for me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, this is really, really exciting. Uh, Mr. Bailey, to be honored tonight amongst all these wonderful, illustrious people is just wonderful. So for me to be the MC of it all, it's like, God, are you trying to tell me something? Okay. Is it time for me to turn okay. off the red carpet? <laughs> they just, you know, so I just think that it's a wonderful, wonderful event. Godfather of black music. Well, if I was a godfather, there'd be a lot of trouble. <laughs> Let me ask you, how does it feel to be honored tonight for the Lifetime Achievement Award? Why? Well, you know, being honored is, a, is being honored. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. As long as they pay me. What does it mean being here tonight honoring these gentlemen, Lee Bailey and, and Clarence? Well, you know, they're both great men. Clarence is a personal friend for a long, long time. He is not only a legend in the music industry, but he's, a, he's just a fabulous human being. And he's somebody who deserves this honor in the highest order. And I'm just happy to be able to just be his friend, call him my friend, and, you know, just to honor him for all the things that he has done, not only in the music industry, but in the community, which many people don't know about. He's not a guy who seeks publicity. What he does is seeks to make a difference. How important is it to honor these gentlemen tonight, Clarence and Lee Bailey? I mean, these guys, I mean, God, these are the pillows of uh, the business. Uh, a lot of young people such as yourself, it was in their footsteps that you're following in. These people opened up the doors for a lot of black people to get a job. I can remember back in my days when I first started, I used to work for American Urban Radio Networks and KGLH and a few other places. And uh, we didn't, in fact, me and Aldo Collier, we were the only two African Americans that would go to and cover the Academy Awards. That's how rough it was back in those days. So, but we, 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 we've been, we've been, we paid our dues. They, they opened the door for me, and then we opened doors for the young people. You know what? Opening doors has been like the topic tonight. I, I asked Lee Bailey on opening doors for myself. The yeah, the voice. I asked Clarence about it. Yeah. Why is it so important for us? Hold up. Sorry. Why is it so important for us to invest in our own? Well, it's it's because it's a big world ahead, a lot of competition. Why why is it I always have to see a white gap on television? I want to see somebody look like me. And we got some qualified black people out here who can do what they're what they're doing. I met Lee Bailey when I just got out of college. He hired me off of a local radio station, and at that time, Radio Scope was all the rage. Radio Scope was on the air in 150 countries, 150 stations here in the United States. And then for a short time, I had an international show on the Armed Forces Radio Network, and Radio Scope was a part of that. So I was blessed to help to carry the Radio Scope brand into 57 countries worldwide. So I still work with Lee Bailey as Director of Digital Media Strategy and Sales. It's a joy and a pleasure to bring urban news into the stratosphere, and we appreciate those businesses who give back and support us. You have so many accolades under your name, you know, you did Radio Scope and, you know, being the legendary, you know, radio icon. Where does this honoree tonight, where does, where does that rank tonight? Well, that's what I was saying. This is like probably the biggest uh, accord that I've ever, I've ever gotten. And uh, when they asked me or told me that they wanted me to be the uh, 
uh, special honoree. If, I'm not sure if that, a special achievement. I can't remember. Special achievement. Special achievement honoree. I was like blown away. It's like, wait a minute, you mean me? <laughs> so it, it's it's one of those kind of things where I am just uh, beyond appreciative to, to, to get the honor. I mean, I never thought that it would uh, end up like this or I would achieve this kind of uh, of uh, success, I guess. So I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled, beyond happy to, to be here standing before you. If we can't develop our own businesses, we can't develop our own community, we can't develop our own people. So you look at the photographers here tonight, look at the camera people here tonight, you know, it's black people that's coming out to cover this. And that's what makes a difference because when we need to do something for ourselves because we are capable of doing something for ourselves. So hats off to Skip Cooper for putting this on and for selecting Clarence as the honor, tonight's honoree. You had so many accolades, so many accomplishments. Does one honor or one accomplishment trumps another? No. It's all the same to you? All the same. Well, congrats on your Special Achievement Award and i see you inside. All of my latest technological gadgets were introduced to me by Lee Bailey. So we went from interviewing people with cassette tapes back in the day to digital recorders to DAT machines and all up to where we are now with the interactive uh, mode of the internet. So it is great that we can communicate to a global audience and still see that our news is relevant. But again, without a vision, the people perish. And Mr. Lee Bailey started this. He's hung in there through thick and thin. And I'm very, very, very honored to still be a part of that brand. What do you see ER Rib in the next five years? What's new with ER Rib? Oh, God, that's a, that's a, a, a question that uh, I ponder all the time because I want to, you know, I want to go as far as we can go. I've got a big imagination. And like I said, with, with people like you as part of the team, I mean, it's there's no telling where we can go but I mean you know all these digital opportunities are opening up so I want to be uh, I want to take advantage of as many of those as possible I always see ourselves as a content provider and not necessarily a radio content provider or an internet com but a content provider that gives us the ability to uh, utilize all of the platforms that are existing now and that may come along so I just want to ride it as as far as as far as we can. Well, much success to you, man! Congratulations on your honoree tonight, brother. Thank you so much. And uh, hey, man, I appreciate everything on my behalf and the whole EUR staff. We appreciate everything, man. You're welcome. Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you. Congratulations! Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. Hey, you say we changing, look, we made it Yeah, we made it